Morning everybody. Let me start off by wishing everybody a Merry Christmas all the way from uh, sunny uh, Tucson, Arizona. Uh, the Pate family is getting ready to celebrate Christmas. Just waiting for my uh, two sons to uh, get here from their moms. It's a nice 67 degrees out here. I miss the cold of Wisconsin, but I'll tell you what, it's nice to be able to wear you know, a t-shirt if I want to outside for a change and not get caught up in the snow. So let me get started with what I'm going to use today. For my soap, can't go with anything else but the resolution. Reminds me of home. Pine trees, just you know, fresh cut Christmas tree. Great job with Silk Commander. For my brush, the old style Plasson. Can't go wrong with it. I'm gonna dry load it. For my razor, my 66 Slim. I got from uh, Mike McKinley. Great guy, does a beautiful job restoring the razors, or cleaning them up, I should say. And then I'll finish it off with Ginger's Garden Bajir Fern. I just love the smell of it. It's perfect, obviously, for today. It once again, kind of puts me in that spirit. So, I've already been soaking the puck. Let me uh, get to loading the brush. Yeah, last night, I'm a single guy now, and a uh, new friend that I just met a few months ago, him and his wife invited me over to their house. And, you know, holidays now, being a single guy with you know, two kids who don't see all the time, Kind of rough, I'm missing my family back home. Been away for years, so it's nothing new there, but just miss in general. So they invited me over to their house last night to you know, celebrate the birth of Jesus with them. And I got from my Bible group, a men's group that I'm in. It was just so refreshing because I was reminded how a simple get together can really just lift your spirits. It was one of those where it was just the two of them, their daughter, myself, and one of the wife's friends. and. We didn't have a traditional Christmas dinner. It was, you know, just some nice chicken, you know, breaded, nothing special. But it was the company that made it special. And so that kind of set the tone for the holiday for me this year. So I hope that you, know, you guys out there are doing the same thing today with your family, your friends, you know, whatever it might be. I know some of you guys probably volunteer to go down to soup kitchens or whatever it might not be. But just hope you're able to find some kind of happiness today, you know. We may not all be Christians like myself, but I just hope that on today you're able to find some kind of happiness, realize, start your reflection for next year. Just, you know, kind of get your mind right, figure out what you want to do with yourself the next year, where your where your, your next level is in your life. Let me go ahead and wipe my face and we'll begin. So... Real quick, I started uh, wet shaving. It was about March of this year still. And it's been such a blessing. You know, obviously, anybody who's in the community knows, you know, the brotherhood and the sisterhood, you know, how great it is, how everybody's so supportive and friendly. And it just really opened my eyes to just that there's, you know, people out there that and take the time to appreciate the finer things in their life. And it's opened up, you know, avenues of communication to people that I didn't realize existed. It's kind of funny. You know, some of you may remember I uh, convinced, or converted my pastor into wet shaving. He doesn't always shave. Right now he's got a nice big old goatee, kind of scruffy looking, but just what he does around this time of year. But uh, got him convinced to uh, try it. Loves it. And then uh, last night with my friend John, call him Jersey John, got about four friends named John, but he just moved from New Jersey recently. Uh, he uh, started talking about watches and how he collects watches. So to me, it was an avenue to talk about wet shaving. Lo and behold, he pulls out a cheap TTO with some Dorco blades and a bunch of uh, uh, artist shaving um, like pre-shave oils and cream and that kind of stuff and starts talking about and they get a little shave that had no idea this guy I've talked to for months was into that kind of stuff but oh boy was his mind blown when I started talking about the brotherhood got on Facebook after we ate talked about you guys showed him around to some of the sites that we use filled my bowl full of water And we just started talking about it. He had no idea about all the artisan soap makers. That stuff even existed. He had no idea 
that there was this community out there and his eyes were open and I tried to explain to him the amount of product I have. It's not a whole lot compared to some, but it's still a good amount. I own, you know, probably 20 some odd soaps, roughly five, six razors, a couple straights, nothing, you know, nothing big. It's bigger than what I started with, but comparatively it's small to some people, it's large to others, but he was blown away. that all this stuff existed and I was showing them all the different scent profiles you know I took him to a few different people's web pages and he was shocked so when I got home he had asked me to take a picture of all the stuff I own and so tomorrow we're gonna get together at the gym for uh, CrossFit he's never done that before so he's gonna get together with myself and our pastor and we're gonna uh, go put him through a CrossFit workout and then afterwards, we are going to break out the soaps and I'm going to introduce him to all these new soaps that, you know, he can explore. And I'll loan them out to him. You know, he's a budget conscious guy. So I uh, obviously point him away and raise a rock a lot because you can't go wrong with those products to begin with. But the prices are amazing, especially for a, you know, young guy like himself. Doesn't have all the money in the, in the world. Oh, geez. That's nasty. Haven't done that before. All right, sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Uh, just cut myself for the first time, and it's been forever, especially a real cut. Now, you might be able to see right up in there. Gassed myself pretty good. Uh, I haven't used this razor in a while. No excuse. But... Uh, I didn't listen to the stallion. I sent him a uh, video of me recently using the straight razor, asking his opinion on stuff, and told him I was probably going to record a video soon. And he said, "Hey, just remember, don't pay attention to the camera, just shave." Well, I made that mistake and gashed my upper lip. So, lesson learned, I guess. Should have listened to the stallion. So, let me give it a second pass. I can't remember where I left off right now, but oh yeah, about shaving and stuff, and just. So I can introduce that friend to the whole uh, new variety of stuff. I guess his wife only just got him that art of shaving stuff to, uh, you know, she knew he liked it. But uh, he's just really excited to uh, try those new products. And I don't mind loaning out any of that stuff to him, but I mean, he's just a really good friend. So it'd be nice to hear what he says about products because kind of get to live through him again. I've had these soaps for a while now, most of them. Some are brand new to me. But uh, for him, they're all brand new. So I'll get to be reminded of the experience that I had when I first tried them through his eyes and through his descriptions. And that's just going to be pretty sweet. Can't complain. Go around that cut. That was a pretty nasty cut. It's funny, I cut myself more with this than I have with a straight razor. I just had a little mix with my straights, that kind of stuff, so to get a full on gash. That's uh, it's definitely a first with my D's. Yeah, I'm just looking, like I said earlier, I'm looking forward to my kids getting here. At two, uh, Christian is my uh, youngest. Crazy enough, he just turned five yesterday, so on Christmas Eve is his birthday. He shares a birthday with my uh, stepmom, so it's kind of a special day in our family. Hoping next year I'll be able to go up there and... Uh, let them celebrate their birthdays together for the first time. But yeah, he just turned five, so that was really cool. Uh, it's amazing. I think he's already five years old. And my oldest, Matthew, he's eight. And 
just amazing to watch, you know, this last year from Christmas to last year, Christmas to this year, how much they've changed. I think as a parent, sometimes you get very easy, you can overlook your kids, you know, or not, I shouldn't say overlook what you take them for granted sometimes. I know I've been guilty of that in the past. Uh, but, you know, it's times like this where you can, you know, birthdays, holidays, you kind of remind it, hey, maybe you weren't the best parent that year, but you know what, you were still there. And your kids still got to say, hey, that's my mom, that's my dad. And just like in every adventure, you know, with shaving, try to always make the next shave your best shave. It's kind of the way you know, I treat parenthood. You know, every day, it's a new day. Every year is a new year. I always try to get better. So it's kind of, that's, you know, definitely a model I'm going to try to take into this next year. And we'll see where I'm at. You know, obviously it's something you can't really judge per se, but it'll definitely be uh, something that I can take back and remember and think about. Yeah, the boys and I won't be doing anything special, just uh, getting together, opening gifts, playing around. They'll have been uh, well fed at their mom's house, it's just the three of us, so I don't really do any big dinners and like that. Knowing them, they'll want to watch the uh, old screw Grinch one more time. I think we watched it about 20 times overall on these holidays. Got it on the DVR. Go ahead and rinse my face real quick. And then finish off, like I said, with Ginger's Garden Fujir Fern. No offense to other, uh, aftershave makers or anything like that or splash makers but Irina's products are just I've just found for what I've used have just been amazing I just love the stain power I love the face feel it's just I just it, I love the fact that I can smell it later on in the day when I'm at the you know gym or wherever I might be that night I can still smell it when I'm at work and can't get wrong with that. It's like wearing, you know, cologne and also, or as Con would say, perfume, man up, and uh, all at once. So it just kind of does all those things together. But once again, from the Pape family, to all you guys, I just want to say Merry Christmas. If I don't see you before New Year's, have a happy New Year. Uh, be safe. You know, just enjoy every moment that you've had with your family. I know a lot of you have long weekends right now with family. By the time you might see this, it'll already be in the weekend. But just enjoy it. Cherish the moments. Be with the kids, be with your family, whoever the loved ones, you know, or friends that you're with. Just cherish that moment. You know, every moment is precious. You know, you never know what's going to happen the next year. You might move, you know, might not be around those people for whatever reason. So just uh, please just take the time to think about it. Cherish it. Just give everybody a hug around you. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody.